れ違う思いがどこか遠くでさ。Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be going to a very famous tourism spot in Aichi, Japan, called Sanshu Aske Yashiki. But before then, let's take a look at this river. It is just on the way to the tourism spot. The name is Tomoe River. This river is famous for species of fish called ayu or sweet fish, usually found in East Asia. And you can see a couple of fishermen there trying to catch the ayu fish. And I was told it's very delicious. When the fishermen catch the fish, they usually sell it to the restaurant owners around. And guess what? They use it to make very delicious meals. We bumped into a restaurant that makes different kinds of delicious meals with the ayu fish. And guess what? Because of what I heard about the fish, I really wanted to try it out. This is ayu gohan. This price. ああ、そうなんですか。ああ、そうなんですか。ああ、そうなんですか。ああ、そうなんですか。ああ、そうなんですか。ああ、そうなんですか。ああ、そうなんですか。ああ、そうなんですか。ああ、そうなんですか。
The major policy here is to create life necessities by ourselves. This is a living history museum where the lives of mountain farmers are reenacted using the original tools. You can find replicas of sceneries from the Meiji era, which is between 1868 to 1912. This house you're seeing now is a real ancient farmhouse with a thatched roof. This house has been around for over 200 years. And one thing about this roof is that the thatched roof expires after every 50 years, so the residents of the community must replace it after every 50 years. Let's take a look at the well before we go inside the farmhouse. This is the well. This well is so deep. The depth of this well is 8 meters. It's so deep. So, Nomura-san, my tour guide, is teaching me how to fetch water from the well. It's quite easy to do that. Right. So, and one thing about the water inside is that the temperature is hot during winter and it's cold during summer. So, now it's summer. So, the temperature of the water inside is quite cold. So, I just confirmed it. The temperature of the water is cold because it's underground water. So this was the major source of water for the old farmers in the olden days. These are straw crafts. In olden days, straw from harvested plants like rice was used for making many necessary goods for everyday life such as straw sandals, straw mats, straw hats, straw brooms and so on. These are some of the straw sandals. They were all handmade. You can see the lady over there making the straw sandal. That was how the old farmers lived their lives. They made their straw sandals by themselves. This is mamushi. Mamushi drink is a kind of mixture of a, a snake called mamushi. It's a viper. Mamushi and vinegar, a mixture. This serves as energy drink and also as a sex booster, sex drink. So the old farmers drank this when they wanted to make babies. So it gives them strength, it enhances their libido and it makes them strong. And also it's like an energy drink it also helped them to do their work effectively so the old farmers drank this drink they call it mamushi sake mamushi drink my tour guide Nomura san really explained in details but sorry I couldn't bring the actual audio because it was very scrappy This is the wooden craft storehouse. In olden days, the old farmers made a lot of items by shaping and constructing woods. This is an artisan. He's trying to reenact the life of the old farmers. The old farmers made a lot of items like bathtubs, rice containers, and buckets from woods. And they used a very special tree called Sawara Cypress trees that are 200 or 300 years old. They actually use these trees because they are very light and they have strong resistance against water. These are some of the products. This is used to make Japanese oke. Okay. Japanese oke okay is um, Japanese bath bucket. So, if you look closely there, you will see the already finished product. The old farmers made their bath buckets from woods, but nowadays we have a lot of sophisticated machines. So, the Japanese bath buckets are non plastics.
making a, let's say, an umbrella from the paper and the bamboo, bamboo wood. Yeah, so from paper and bamboo wood. Konnichiwa. Just like a Japanese style umbrella. Quite expensive. Very expensive because it's a handful. Oh, yeah, because it's handmade. Yeah, it, in a convenience store, uh, 7 Eleven, we can buy it. Uh, just a 350 yen umbrella. Here, 34,000 yen. Yeah, because it's handmade. Handmade. And, the, yeah. and it's now, sold out. Yeah, same as the wooden top. Uh, artisan to make the uh, Japanese style umbrella. Very, very uh, expensive. Reducing. Okay. So there are not so many people who can do that. So, uh, uh, made from the bamboo and also the the paper is coated with oil for water resistance. All handmade. All handmade. And the... Uh, in the uh, town uh, they are sold, not as the umbrella, but as the decoration, decoration for the house. Mm. But uh, only when Birth old man wears a Japanese cross, kimono. Mm. So they yeah, yeah, need yeah. this Japanese style umbrella. Yeah, so when girls wear Japanese kimono, they use the umbrella. Yeah, I yes. see them part of them. That fit with a Japanese style dressing cross, yeah. uh, kimono. Yeah, yeah. Mm. In such a case, it, umbrella can be used as a practical item, not the decoration. Wow. <laughs> The old farmers were involved in livestock farming. Chicken served as a clock for them. However, nowadays it is very difficult to see this kind of breed, so they are regarded as national properties. Also, cows were used for farming work, fertilizers, and as food. Cattle farms we have seen in various areas up to about mid 1955 to 1965. This is a toy shop for the kids. The old farmers made toys for their kids. Wow. <laughs> He gave it to me to try it out. <laughs> Let's see. But unfortunately, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I don't know. The old farmers made samurai swords, kitchen knives, scissors, and so on. Knife, yeah, samurai sauce and the kitchen knife. Yeah, this one. 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 Oh, 
車。ただ車ですね。すごい。Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Did you enjoy this video? Please share, batter the likes, and subscribe if you're new. See you soon.